Hello and welcome to the Facts Channel. Our channel explores psychology, relationships, marriages, men, women, husbands, wives, sexuality, and more. Please subscribe and comment, and we will certainly respond. Enjoy the video. Discover 7 Reasons Behind Unpleasant Vaginal Odor and Understanding the Spectrum of 7 Different Vaginal Smells Discover 7 Reasons Behind Unpleasant Vaginal Odor Men have different preferences when it comes to the scent of a woman's vagina. Some men may find an odor unpleasant while others may not notice or mind it. However, if a man consistently finds the scent unappealing, it could indicate underlying medical issues such as bacterial vaginosis or yeast infections that require treatment from a healthcare provider. It is possible that some men may be less inclined to perform cunnilingus if they perceive the vaginal odor as unpleasant. Number 1. Not washing properly. If a woman doesn't keep her vaginal area clean, it can develop an odor that is unpleasant to both her and her partner. Regularly washing with soap and water can help prevent this problem. Number 2. Using scented products. Some women use scented feminine care products like douches or sprays, which can irritate the vagina and cause an odor. It's best to stick with plain, fragrance-free products. Number 3. Having poor dietary habits. A diet low in fiber and high in sugar can contribute to bad breath and body odors, including those from the vagina. Eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can improve overall health and reduce odors. Number 4. Sweating excessively. Women who sweat more than usual may experience a stronger vaginal odor due to bacteria growth. This can happen during exercise or in hot weather conditions. Number 5. Being sexually active without protection. Unprotected sex can lead to vaginal infections, which can cause a strong odor. These infections can also spread to partners, causing discomfort and tension in the relationship. Number 6. Menstrual irregularities. When a woman has irregular periods or heavy bleeding, it can cause a stronger vaginal odor. This is because menstrual blood contains higher levels of estrogen and progesterone, which can create a distinctive smell. Number 7. Poor hygiene habits. As mentioned earlier, not washing properly or keeping the vaginal area clean can lead to odors that are unpleasant for both the woman and her partner. Understanding the spectrum of seven different vaginal smells, the vaginal pH of individuals in their reproductive age typically leans slightly towards acidity, resulting in a tangy odor that is perfectly normal. However, a healthy vagina can exhibit a diverse range of odors. This variation is a testament to the complex ecosystem within your vagina, housing billions of bacteria whose composition undergoes constant changes, sometimes even hourly. The vaginal pH of individuals in their reproductive age typically leans slightly towards acidity, resulting in a tangy odor that is perfectly normal. However, a healthy vagina can exhibit a diverse range of odors. This variation is a testament to the complex ecosystem within your vagina, housing billions of bacteria whose composition undergoes constant changes, sometimes even hourly. Embracing this natural change is crucial. These shifts in sense are influenced by several factors, including your menstrual cycle, personal hygiene practices, and simply being yourself. Moreover, the presence of sweat glands in the groin area adds to the complexity of vaginal odors, dispelling the notion of complete odorlessness. Number 1. Tangy or fermented. It's quite common for vaginas to emit a tangy or sour aroma, often reminiscent of fermented foods like yogurt, sourdough bread, or certain types of sour beer. This aroma is attributed to the beneficial bacteria that typically dominates a healthy vagina. The slightly acidic pH of a reproductive age person's vagina acts as a defense against the proliferation of harmful bacteria. Number 2. Coppery, like a penny. Some individuals may occasionally detect a coppery, metallic scent in their vaginal area, which, in most cases, is nothing to be concerned about. This odor is often associated with the presence of iron in blood, with menstruation being the most common cause. 
During your period, blood and tissue are expelled from the uterine lining and traverse the vaginal canal. Occasionally, light post-sex bleeding may occur due to vaginal dryness or vigorous activity, leading to minor cuts or scrapes. The use of lubrication can help prevent this. The metallic aroma should dissipate shortly after your period concludes. However, if your vagina has encountered semen, this may alter the pH level and temporarily result in a metallic odor. If you experience bleeding unrelated to your period or if the metallic smell persists along with itching and discharge, consulting a doctor is advisable. Number 3. Sweet, like molasses, when we describe a sweet odor in this context, we are referring to a robust and earthy scent, rather than the fragrance of freshly baked cookies. This sweetish tinge can be attributed to the dynamic bacterial makeup within your ever-changing vaginal pH and is typically not a cause for concern. Number 4. Chemical, like a freshly cleaned bathroom, an odor resembling bleach or ammonia may have various underlying causes, some of which may warrant a doctor's attention. Urine contains a byproduct called urea, which contains ammonia. Accumulation of urine in your underwear or around your vulva can give rise to a chemical odor. It is important to note that strongly ammonia-scented urine can indicate dehydration. Additionally, a chemical-like smell could be indicative of bacterial vaginosis, a common infection characterized by symptoms such as a foul or fishy odor, thin gray or white discharge, and vaginal itching or burning during urination. Number 5. Skunky, like body odor or a smoky, herbal, earthy scent, some individuals may observe a resemblance between body odor and the scent of cannabis in their vaginal area. This similarity can be attributed to the presence of sweat glands in the groin region. Your body has two types of sweat glands, eccrine, which produce sweat to regulate body temperature, and apocrine, which respond to emotional stimuli. Apocrine glands are found in your armpits and, notably, your groin. When you're stressed or anxious, these glands release a milky fluid that is initially odorless. However, when this fluid interacts with the abundant vaginal bacteria on your vulva, it can result in a potent aroma. Number 6. Fishy, like a forgotten fillet. The term, fishy, is often used to describe an abnormal vaginal odor, although fresh fish should not have a strong odor. A more apt comparison is to the scent of decomposing fish, attributed to a chemical compound called trimethylamine. Bacterial vaginosis can occur when there is an overgrowth of anaerobic bacteria in the vagina, leading to the presence of odorous anaerobic organisms. Trichomoniasis, a common and treatable sexually transmitted infection that responds to antibiotics, is known for its pronounced fishy odor, which is more noticeable than that associated with bacterial vaginosis. Number 7. Rotten, like a decaying organism, an exceptionally foul odor that resembles the scent of decaying organisms is not typical. If the smell is putrid, like that of a deceased organism, it may not be originating from your vagina, but rather from something inside it. It's more common than you might think to inadvertently leave a tampon inside the vagina for days or even weeks. Many people have experienced this situation, and there is no need to feel embarrassed about it. It is perfectly safe to remove a forgotten tampon on your own. In summary, if something appears unusual, odors should serve as noticeable indicators. These are the odors that make your face scrunch up, such as those resembling rotting fish, deceased organisms, or decay. Serious underlying causes may often manifest alongside these odors. It is advisable to consult a doctor if an odor is accompanied by itching, burning, pain, pain during sexual intercourse, a thick cottage cheese-like discharge, or vaginal bleeding unrelated to your period. Subtle shifts in your vaginal fragrance can be entirely natural. The scent of your vagina is closely tied to its pH, which is influenced by several factors. For example, after penile vaginal sex, semen with a relatively high pH can temporarily alter the smell. Menopause can also affect vaginal pH due to decreased estrogen levels, potentially leading to a reduction in vaginal mucosa. 
vaginal mucosa lines the vagina and supports lactobacilli bacteria. Without these cells, the pH can become elevated. Don't hesitate to become better acquainted with your vagina, embracing its unique fragrant characteristics. The more you understand the daily variations in your vaginal scent, the better prepared you'll be when encountering any changes. Many individuals appreciate and marvel at the wonder of their own bodies, and it's important to educate yourself about your own unique experiences. If you really do find this video informative, please subscribe, comment and share. We need you to subscribe so we can continue to provide more videos and shorts. Thank you from the Facts Channel.